so you've got masonite siding on your house and it's either water damaged or termite damaged and you can't buy this anymore how do you handle it I'm gonna show you in this episode so what is masonite siding well in the early 80s and 90s masonite siding was a preferred product to put on the outside of houses it was budget friendly um, which means it was cheap now they say it's a wood made from wood products um, technically it's made from compressed paper and or a, a, a paper similar product and resin or glue and then they compress it and heat it to get this texture on the outside well you can't get this anymore as a matter of fact there were a few class action lawsuits because of this stuff and the problem was uh, you get a little chip in it and once you got water intrusion in here the siding would rot out then you had a termite problem or a, a carpenter ant problem and uh, also if the stuff caught fire it would just go right up so it was very flammable so uh, after the mid 90s early 90s they stopped using this but now you can't find it and you can't find an exact replacement for this so we're going to show you how to take care of that problem so if you go to any good building material supplier they should carry this this is lap siding it's not quite eight inches it's about seven to seven eighths inches by 12 feet long okay and you'll notice that this is a true wood product basically it's compressed chipboard okay and they've compressed it and heated it and formed it and on the other side it has our texture on it that we need you'll also notice it's, it's beaded on either side you need to keep that in mind okay what you're gonna do you're gonna cut these exactly in half so for you guys who are DIY homeowners um, now might be a good time for you to buy a table saw or get a uh, and get a router table and a good quality router if you need them if you're in construction you probably already have that stuff all right after you've ripped your boards and these boards are 12 feet long and they got a lot of flex in them so if you have some short sections say that three times short sections of siding to do go ahead and cut those to length on your chop saw so you don't have to handle that full length piece in our case we've got about three at around 60 inches and three at around 100 inches that I've got to cut so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those first so they're easier to handle on the router table okay next step you want to do take a piece of your old siding and you want to cut out right down that line and cut a piece of this off okay that's because you're going to use that as a depth gauge for your router and I'll, I'll put I'll post the information for this particular route a bit to you guys but you want to set the depth gauge so you get this curved element in here okay so set your router table up and set yourself up a good long fence to make your life a lot easier okay so you should be looking something like that and when you go to route this stuff you want to route the cut edge okay because you have a beveled edge over here okay now if you happen to make a mistake and you end up routing that it's no big deal you can, you can sand this edge and paint it and you're fine but uh, that route, you want to route, if possible, you want to route the cut edge, okay? Oh yeah, by the way, when you route this stuff, it makes a bloody mess. But, it doesn't take very long. And when you get done, you're going to have individual pieces. This is what it will look like on your house when you nail it on you're only going to have about an eighth of an inch overlap on it okay so it's not very much overlap you don't need to cut anything on the back side of this board for that so nail it on 
prime everything first. Get all this wood primed first. Then you put a coat of paint on it first. Then nail them on, and then you want to run a bead of caulk down there. And you're ready to rock and roll. And it's that simple, guys. And it took me about 10 minutes to route all of those and cut them and everything. So it's a pretty quick, easy process. And I uh, hope this helps you guys out. Give it a try. It'll save you money. Instead of having to change all the siding out in your house because you can't find the siding, now you know how to make your own. And with any luck at all, when you're done, you'll have a pretty close match. Hope you all learned something on this. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.